Based on a true story that most of us will never forget, this week I'm talking about the 33. Hey guys, welcome back to Monday Morning Critic. I'm Crystal Lee Kennedy, and this week I checked out the new film, The 33, based on the true story of the 33 miners that were trapped underground in a privately owned mine in Chile, which I think is an important part of the story. I completely remember this story. I remember watching it unfold on CNN. I remember hearing about these miners that were trapped underground in what was like a tomb-like area. If you don't remember, this spanned over three months. So I don't remember the entire three months, and I did not remember if they all made it. And normally, you guys that watch my Monday Morning Critic episodes know that I always do my homework before I go see the movie. And I decided not to this time, and I'm gonna tell you why. I didn't remember how it ended, and I kinda wanted to have that surprise at the end of the movie and see if it affected me any differently. The movie is based on the true story. It is based on the book by one of the survivors. It starts off with a wonderful family outing where you get to meet a bunch of these miners that are not only working together, but their family and their friends, and they're celebrating the retirement of one of their coworkers, and very quickly you get right into the mine. Knowing what I knew about the story, I still was at the edge of my seat during moments of this film. There was 33 of them, and that's a lot of people to be in a small space. All I could think of was being in an elevator with like 10 people, and I can't handle that. Like, I can't even imagine being buried alive with 33 people. I don't care how big the area is. That's really scary. Antonio Banderas stars in this film. Juliette Binoche is one of the wives who I couldn't take seriously at all at the beginning when they first show her, but then watching the movie progress and seeing her character, then I understood it more. Lou Diamond Phillips, La Bamba, he's back! So we learn a lot from this movie, which I thought was really interesting. Um, it was a privately owned mind and politicians did not want to touch it or get involved uh, because it's not their responsibility and it's the people that own its responsibility and very quickly the family and friends made a lot of noise uh, and soon news, news people showed up and then they had to get involved because there were 33 people uh, you know, underground, and, and the odds were up against them in every step of the way. Uh, so we get to meet the politicians that were involved. Rodrigo Santoro uh, plays the Chilean politician who really gets involved. He's the one who goes to the president and says, you know, this has to, we have to do something, and he's the one that's really there every day. And James Brolin plays the American that is coming in to try to rescue these miners. Um, not only do they have to try to drill down just to see if they're alive, but then they have to try to get them out, which was just amazing to me. So part of the reasons why I really liked this movie is because um, yes, it's based on a true story and it's extremely inspirational. It also had some really great comedic moments, which I was not expecting, which I thought were, were great. And I think the film probably would have been very different without them. And then to see the families, the families didn't just show up the day that it happened. They stayed, they set up camp, they had tents, they were cooking, dancing, singing, praying. I mean, it was like tent village outside of that mine and those family and their friends never left. There, there was one scene, just one scene in the movie that I was like, really? did we have to go there? And if you see it, I'm pretty sure you'll probably know what I'm talking about, so I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'm just going to say there was one scene that was questionable. I thought I was going to see a movie about a bunch of guys that were trapped underground, but I went to see a movie about family, which I didn't expect. If I had to give it out of 10, I would give it an eight and a half. I think it was a great movie. I don't think there was anything except for that one scene. Ooh. All right, guys, next week may be the most bittersweet review I will ever do from Monday Morning Critic. I'm happy about it, and then I'm extremely sad and wanna cry and go to bed because it is the final installment in the Hunger Games franchise. Hunger Games Mockingjay Part Two. I don't know whether to laugh, cry, or be excited because I'm just so happy and sad at the same time. So make sure you're here, right here with me on this couch next Monday from Monday Morning Critic and see if I can get through the entire review without crying. See you next week.